Hi, my name is Nicole and welcome to my channel, Heart Disease Diaries. In today's video, I wanted to share with you three pros and three cons to having Life Alert. Life Alert is a medical alert system and I chose to get Life Alert after my first set of small strokes um, in November 2020. At the time, the doctors had no idea what was causing these small strokes and they actually didn't know if they should discharge me to a rehabilitation center or to my house. Occupational therapy and physical therapy had me do small tasks like get in and out of the hospital bed, go to the bathroom, pick up the toothbrush, brush my teeth, things like that to make sure that I would be able to be safe and take care of myself if I were to be discharged home. Luckily, I was able to be discharged home instead of a rehabilitation center but I was very terrified at this point and I wanted to maintain my independence so I got life alert so I have a little bit of experience with life alert I had it for three years I know My main goal of this video is to start a conversation for you or your loved one, if you are concerned about your health, to start talking about medical alert systems and choose the one that's right for you. Do your research, compare prices, see what's out there and make sure to find a medical alert system that's going to fit your unique medical needs. Maybe it's life alert, maybe it's not. Here are the three pros and three cons to Life Alert. I'm gonna start with the cons and I'm gonna end on the pros. The three cons of having Life Alert. Number one, it is expensive. I think I paid about 68 or $69 a month and it was taken out of my credit card each month. And there also was an activation fee. I cannot remember the activation fee on the top of my head, but it is expensive. The second con of Life Alert is that you, when you sign up, it is a three-year contract. So you are contractually obligated to keep it for three years. Now you can cancel Life Alert earlier than three years, but there will be a, an early termination fee. I'm not exactly sure the termination fee offhand because I kept it for the whole three-year duration. And then the third con of having Life Alert is it does not have a built-in fall detector. The only way it alerts dispatch is if you are conscious and able to hit the button on your pendant or on the GPS. So that is just something to keep in mind when it comes to Life Alert because that is a very big concern for some people. Now I want to get into the three pros of having Life Alert. Number one is that the pendant that you wear around your house is waterproof. And I think it's really important to know that it is waterproof because a lot of falls or injuries happen in the shower. So it is a waterproof pendant. The second pro to having Life Alert is that you have the pendant that you wear when you are in your house. And then you also have a GPS tracker, which is also helpful even if it's not a medical emergency. Say you're at the grocery store or you're on a short walk and you completely forget where you're at or there's someone following you and you're starting to get really scared because you think that they're going to harm you. You can press that GPS alert. So it's really helpful because you can take it with you away from your house and you can use it for emergency situations that are not just limited to medical. And then the third pro to having Life Alert in my experience is that it gave me a peace of mind and a sense of security. Knowing that I had this system with me 24 seven, whether I was in my house or outside of my house was very helpful. And I really needed that sense of security at the time. So these are the three pros and the three cons in my experience of having Life Alert. I hope this information was helpful for you. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.